someone who can isolate safely at home, can work from home, can order in their groceries, has way less chance of getting this virus than I do. When he's not working in his backyard, Matthew Cadges is working in close contact with strangers as a server in a restaurant. I'm exposed to 20 to 40 random people every night I work who don't have masks on. The 53-year-old is pleased to hear a team of BC experts is calling for a different approach to the vaccine rollout. We need to start changing the plan from our, our slow and strict kind of age-based oldest to youngest strategy that has been laid out to one that prioritizes people who have to have contact. Grocery store workers, teachers, restaurant staff, they are among high contact groups SFU mathematician Carolyn Colane believes need to be prioritized for a vaccine. It comes as her team released new modeling today showing the potential impact of the UK variant in the province. It shows a massive spike in COVID cases in the coming weeks if rules don't change. Colane says one way of tackling that spike is by vaccinating those who interact daily with the public. Actually, it's better for everyone by preventing those cases, uh, those infections. We actually prevent exposures in the elderly. They don't have to be exposed. They unfortunately are obviously at risk, great risk, much greater risk than I am. Gail Dundas is 77. The retired nurse says she would be happy to give up her spot in line for a high contact worker. I would much rather somebody that's out there every day meeting with the public would should have their shot first. BC's provincial health officer says they are sticking with the current plan. We are uh, absolutely um, confident in the the marrying of the vaccine that we have now with the risk that we have, which is age-based. So for now, Matthew Cadges will have to wait until his age group is called up. I don't think that age should be the single determining factor in the vaccine rollout. Isabel Regam, CBC News, Vancouver.